I only have love for one person, and that's Emil Porter Jr. Uh... And then I was chilling and then you feel me? And then we went to the, you know what I'm saying? And then we're and then back and then, you know what I'm saying? Then we came back and then we went. Hey! <laughs> hey! What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Millie Jr. Back again with another video, another banger, you feel me? It's a little 15 Reasons Why video. It's like the Riz video, this like one of them, but different. It's the opposite. 15 Reasons Why I waited so long to get in a relationship. If you know me, I was always a no-go. I was always a uh-uh, I ain't finna do that. I was always a like, feel me, relationships, ugh, like, hearing the word bae is Ugh, like I gotta throw up if I hit that. But now y'all boys can see I'm in a happy, healthy relationship. This video right here is 15 reasons why I waited so long to get in a relationship. Make sure y'all boys drop a like on the video, subscribe, comment, turn the post the kids bell. And we put them on 700 subscribers. All over the 1K. Let's get straight to the video. Gang. This is my 15 reasons why I waited so long to get in a relationship. A last relationship, I don't say it really count like that. Cause we ain't really like do not we really hang out. We ain't really like fit me do not outside of school. It counts, but it don't count. Started in like October, the beginning, like late October, early November, and then ended December 19th. But that was like two years ago. That was in 2021. Right now, feel me, it's August 2nd, 2024, 2023, and I'm in a happy, healthy relationship with my girl. If y'all have any reasons why y'all won't get in a relationship, y'all can drop them down in the comments right now today. Reason number one why I read it so long to get in a relationship is because relationships can ruin great friendships. Like, you, y'all could be, y'all could be best friends, feel me? Like, that's your home girl, that's, you feel me? That's you right there, feel me? So, Y'all could be the greatest friends in the world, and y'all get in a relationship, then something happen. And then now y'all not friends no more. Y'all y'all done broke up. Y'all hate each other. Y'all done blocked each other. Y'all don't want to talk to each other. Y'all want to see each other. None of that. But y'all could have been the best of friends, but y'all got in a relationship and ruined everything. So that's reason number one why I regret it. Like, not regret it, but didn't want to get in a relationship. Reason number two why I waste on getting in a relationship because time. Like, I hate wasting time. Like, we done did all this stuff. We done talked so long, talked about a lot of stuff, did all this stuff with each other. And this done took up a lot of time, like let's just last three months, three years. We done did all this just for us to break up over something petty, something simple, and you leave or I leave. And then now that's like a whole bunch of time, money wasted, you feel me? Like, what's the point of getting together if y'all not gonna stay together and eventually get married one day? So that's another reason why I always wanna get ready because of time. Like, I hate wasting time. Like, put a time into a person, put energy into a person, and they can't reciprocate that back, and they can't make it last and scratch. So no go, bro. Reason number three why I already started getting a relationship is because I got trust issues. Like, and y'all can't blame me for that. I'm pretty sure a lot of y'all got trust issues too. Like, especially with social media, bro. You see a lot of videos, a lot of posts of girls deliberately cheating on a man. And then like, you rarely see any men cheating on a girl. Not trying to be biased, but you'll never see no videos or posts like that. It's always the females, like the females. And then the females in the comments be encouraging it. So it's like the whole world, like this whole generation is just cheating and being untrustworthy. And me personally, I never cheat on my girl ever, like at all. They me like, what Dirk said? I don't even cheat on my bitch. Hey, right, so I never do that, you feel me? So it's like trust issues, like feel me? And girl, they get attached emotionally to boys and stuff like that. Like she might be still attached to her ex and still talking to you and then still talk to her ex on the low, like. I don't got, I ain't had time for that. I don't got time for that. Next reason, I get attached too fast. Like, I fall in love with what Rod said. She just ain't know she had my heart before the plane landed. All right, bro. Fell in love before the plane even landed. I hope he said that. I think he said that. I'm pretty sure he said that. Look, like, you be talking for one, two days, and in my head, you already mine. You might call me delusional, delulu, whatever. I don't care. Okay, about none of that. I feel like you mine, and you say you mine, and you act like you mine, then you mine. Like, I'm finna sit here and play with my emotions and my feelings. That's another reason I waste on getting a relationship because I ain't want to get attached to nobody and then end up getting hurt. Feel me? So, next reason why I didn't text back fast. Like, if I, I see your message, like, it, I got it. I had a issue with responding back to messages. Like, I see your message, reply to your message in my head, and then not text you back. And then you get mad because I'm not showing you attention or just not talk to you like you want me to. But the whole time, I just like, I really don't like being on the phone. Like, I really don't like text. I don't like talking. I don't like typing on the phone all day. Like, that's, feel me? That's something I had to um, better myself in to get in a relationship that I'm in now. Like, talking, texting all day, feel me? Stuff like that. So, at first, I ain't really like texting and being, you feel me? All love you, love you on the phone. That wasn't my mojo, you feel me? That wasn't me. But now, look at us now. The next thing is, I won't call you. Not now. I'll blow your phone up. Nah. But back then, I wouldn't call you unless you called me. Or I'll call you if I'm bored, you feel me? Like, you, you'll basically be getting shown no attention from me. That's why. Because, like, I was in a stage 
I wasn't texting nobody, I wasn't calling nobody, unless you called me or unless you text me or unless you were doing something to benefit me, cause I wasn't finish on the phone all day and I wasn't finish be typing, hello, uh, da 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 da, what you did today? Ah, uh, ha ha ha, oh that's weird, feel me then, feel me like I'm not finna do that all day, man. But me now though, feel me, I done better myself in all them categories, all them attributes, nine now overall, max badges. But back then, I didn't show no emotion. People call me nonchalant. <sighs> my mama call me nonchalant. I was nonchalant, but I think I'm out of that now. Nah. I, I be chilling now, nah. I show emotion, I feel me, but I don't never show emotion though, cause like, why am I showing emotion? Why am I showing you my emotions? Like, showing people your emotions could make them, feel me, make you look weak and certain people out and they could think they could run over you. And I'm not feeling like nobody run over you, so. I, show, I ain't show no emotions, feel me? Next thing, most of the time, like a thousand percent of the time, I don't care about nothing. So you can be talking, I can act like I care. A thousand percent of the time, I promise you, I do not care. Like we be on the phone, you be telling me something, man, we could be just chilling, kicking it up. You could be doing something, you probably try to show me something or like, feel me, like just anything. And I, I just don't care. Like whatever you trying to tell me, whatever you trying to show me, I don't care. Like my mindset was like blocking all that out. Like I really like, like, I just didn't care, you feel me? Like, you know what I'm saying? Females can't think for themselves. Y'all, if y'all had a female and y'all female got friends, they can't, like, your female can't think for themselves. Like, most females, they go to their homegirls, they single homegirls, they thought homegirls, they whole homegirls. Like, they go to them homegirls and invent and tell them everything and can't think for themselves and then they go off with their homegirl telling her. They just trying to fill her head up with all negativity, no positive. Like, you, you, you not even broke. You getting money. You pay for everything she got on her body. Feel me? Like, you got motion. And they over here trying to put it in her head. Oh, he broke. He ain't doing nothing. He just want to argue. He just trying to use you. Females can't think for themselves. They always got another. It's always a middleman in the, in the equation. Like, you, if you and your girl got in an argument, and then y'all was cool after the argument, but now she done went to her friends and been to them by the argument, and next thing you know, she acting funny trying to break up with you. Like, next thing, people be two-sided. Like, she be smiling in your face, and they talking about how you behind your back. She be lovey-dovey kissing, hugging on you, and they be kicked up on the phone with some other dude that, that, that be trying to crack on her for about the past three years, and they be linking and stuff. Feel me like, pe like females be like, people be two-sided, like, can't trust nobody these days. Everybody different, you feel me? So, another reason, anything you do will make me question everything. Be, I'm an overthinker, like, I be overthinking stuff, you feel me? So, it just be a lot going on in my head, that's why my head so big, feel me? Why you just like old dude pictures? Like, you know him? Like, what y'all got going on? Why he replying to your story? What he replying to your story for? Why are you planning his story? What you planning his story for? What he like your story for? You know him? Y'all used to talk with him? Why are you follow him if you don't rock with him no more? If I used to talk, why are you still follow him? Feel me like anything you do, I just question it. Like, why you looked at him a certain way and then looked at him a certain way? Like that in this situation, but we won't talk like that in another situation. Like, feel me like anything you do, I just question it. Like, I just be watching stuff. I'm very, I'm very observant. You feel me? Since I was little, like, I just watch everything. Another reason is. Females talk too much. Like this kind of tying with the telling their friends everything. Like, like what you telling everybody our business for? Like, if we was chilling at the beach, why are you going and telling your friends and your other friends and then your friends telling their friends that we was at the beach chilling? Like, they don't need to know everything. Like, why is you telling your story? Why are you telling your IG story what we done did? Why are you flexing on your ex trying to tell him that I'm doing stuff that he ain't do? You shouldn't even be worried about him. Like, he should be out the equation. Like. Bro, he should never be on your mind, like ever. Like you could like a female story, and now she's telling the whole world you don't like her story. Like, come on, man. come on, I, now that's chop this. He supposed to be grown. He supposed to be older than that. Come on, nah. Real deal, spill though. You feel me? I tend to lose feelings quick when I feel something's not there. So if I feel like you're doing something flaky, alright, so boom. If I feel you doing something flaky or like on some sneaky, on some. Like, so I feel like you on some other job and you're not doing the same thing that you was doing before. Like, we was talking every day, now the talking got slower, texting got slower, FaceTimes less. You feel me? Like, we talk, having conversations, and the conversation's not booming like they used to. But I feel like it's something not there. I tend to lose feelings quick. Like, I could like you, I could be fully for you. But as soon as you show me something that I don't like, that I don't feel is right, it's done. Like, it's dead. Like, in my mind, it's over with. Like, I, I could, it, could, it could drop that quick. Like, that quick. You feel me? Next. And last thing on the list, it kind of ties in with trust issues, but uh, I don't never believe somebody actually liked me for it. It was weird, cause like when I was younger, like them elementary school days, like I used to get all the little girls, you feel me? Like I used to be, you feel me? Like I had like two, three girlfriends at one time, post love. But like middle school, like 
through quarantine, I wasn't pulling nothing. Like, I ain't had not one. I ain't had no girlfriend in middle school. I ain't talked no female in middle school. Like, I flirt with them. Like, how I with them. I ain't never had like no actual girlfriend. Like, that actually like want me for real. Until I got into high school. When I got to high school, freshman year, I was pulling left and right. Like, it was so many I couldn't even count for real. You feel me? Like, and then sophomore year, first semester, like they was just coming left and right. Like. All around, it was females everywhere coming to me. I'm like, like, were well, you not used to something? Then it, it kind of be in your head, like, she don't even want me for real. Like, why she trying? Like, why she talking to me? Like, I just run, be running through her head, like, what she want with me? It's like you would think, like, I, I thought I was ugly at a point, but I never like thought I was ugly. But I thought I was ugly. You feel me? Like, I ain't had the confidence that I have now. You feel me? Cause back then, Lord Jesus, if I had the confidence I had now, left. Right, left, right, left, right from all angles, all around, you feel me? So, I ain't never used to believe nobody actually liked me for it. I used to just stand there and be playing, not playing, but like just trying to waste my time. Like, why do you want me? What do you see in me that you don't see in the next person? Because it's other like, it's other people that look better than me, and you came to me. Like, why me? Like, that'd be in my head. Like, he looked good. Like, if you was in the room with him, in my head, he definitely like you folding, but you chose me. Like, I just, it just used to be going through my head, like, why me out of them? Like, you bad. Like, you the baddest one. Everybody wants you, and you want me. Like, why not? Why you don't want him? He look, feel me? Like, I don't know, man. I guess it was like an insecurity or a problem or something, something like that. But I don't got that no more. I'm straight now. Nah. That's 15 reasons why I waited so long to get in a relationship and why I never be in relationships. But this one right here, I gave this one a try, and I promise y'all this one gonna work. And if it don't work, I'm gonna come back to this video. I'm gonna remake it and yo, yo, but it's gonna work though. I feel I feel special about this one because I always make the right decisions. So I just know this relationship right here gonna work. So feel me and me and Claire been talking for months. Feel me, I've been dissecting her, picking her out piece by piece, picking her brain so I could really feel me. So I know for sure I ain't wasting no time and that these this list I made, like none of this list is affecting my relationship. Feel me? So hey, if y'all boys in a relationship, just remember. Pick her brain, dissect her, get to know her literally like. Get to know how she feel, how she talk, how she like talk to other people, the way she move, how she act, feel me like. Just, just get to know her, get to learn her. Like you gotta piece by piece dissect her brain, pick her brain, you gotta do that. If you don't do that, then this list right here I made is gonna be you, feel me? Like I was two, three years ago, feel me? So, I'm a different person now. I'm a better person now. I don't think the same no more. Got a different mindset. But it still be in the back of my head at times. But Edo, if you picked up or learned anything from this video, make sure you drop a like on the video. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you press the post notification bell. Press your boy Millie Jr., 3 Millie, whatever you want to call me. And we pushing up on 700 subscribers. We just hit 600 the other day. And we finna hit that big boy 1K. It's your boy Millie Jr. Millie Ganga, no game. Millie Ganga, don't bang. Hey, I finally got my cuba chain. Hey, let's get it. Make sure y'all boys like the video, subscribe, and we out Yes, sir. Uh, shout out to the last. Uh, uh. Fuck ain't no more being humble. It's time to go crazy. It's time to go dumb. By the end of the year, I'ma run up some numbers and keep going crazy, bro. That's on my mama. I gon' ride without even trying. I get hoes without even talking. That's why I ain't lying.